Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So this is my review of Macrium Reflect 7, uh, which is cloning software, aka backup software. It does all kinds of neat stuff. This is a free edition for home and business use. Um, so you have a, an unpaid version that's functional as well as paid. Now of course when you pay for it, you do get a lot more benefits. But as a free version, you can create images of live and running Windows OS. Um, it will actually clone your license across for you as well too, which is great. Browse backup contents and explore differential images, restore non-booting systems, direct disk cloning, uh, boot your backups instantly in Hyper VVM, schedule your backups with flexible templates. You will also have no support and they have, I don't know what the whole thing is with these circles with the crosses through them. Uh, snapshot image of PC without installing Reflect uh, and something about deploy a golden image. Um, so I guess that's kind of a, maybe it does it. Uh, uh, but for free you get no support. But at least it's 100% free otherwise. And the big thing here is we just want to clone our friggin' hard drive. So it's like, great, this is what I need, right? So how hard is it? How, how simple, how hard can it be? Well, if you kind of look at the screen here, okay, and I know it's a little hard to see, but if you can see where my mouse is, you're going to see there's three sections, right? Uh, and then you're going to drop them down into the cloning area of your new drive that you've just freshly formatted. Um, and when you're using a brand spanking new unformatted drive, you might want to format that out first and then fire it into the program. Um, it'll still reformat anyways for its own thing that it needs for the cloning section for putting the drive as a master boot drive. But anyways, so out of the three sections, you're only going to use two, not three. And I'm going to explain that in a minute. But I want to talk about a couple other cloning programs here. One of which is called Mini Tool Partition Wizard. I tried this. It's absolute garbage. This one here um, is called AOA AOMEA Backupper. Anyways, um, again, garbage. Doesn't work very well. The worst nightmare of all is called EaseUs. Okay. What's the best free cloning software for Windows? Blah, 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 right? So I uh, tried this program, and um, yep, it sucks. Um, it allowed me to do all my setups, ready to do the whole clone, and it says, oh, I'm sorry, uh, you have to pay for this. We're just going to let you see how things are set up, and what you should get in the end is a blah, blah, blah. Uh, but you're not going to clone nothing here unless you pay for it. And ching baby! So yeah, bad, bad, bad. So, Macrium, as far as for PCs go, for Windows computers, Macrium Reflect 7 is actually your best option and totally free. Um, there were other ones that I found too, but I didn't bother putting them in the list because they're garbage. I've tried them. They just don't work. So, um... Anyway, so now that we're uh, on this page here, um, I think that's all we need off here. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to go in and we're going to take a look at my new half terabyte drive. Now this is my new NVMe drive that is in one chunk and I got the whole drive in one piece. Okay, so let's launch Macrium. Now, initially when you're working right flesh off, fresh off from a... Um, your first drive, you're going to see three partitions across the screen. Okay, you're going to see um, your your main NTSF area, that's your main drive, and then you're going to see your, your big opened area, and then you're going to see a smaller little block over in the corner, and everything will be up top. This is actually in reverse order. I don't know why. Uh, maybe we can refresh this. Nope, doesn't matter. Um, so, maybe it's my logging. Oh yeah, that's my log file of how I've done things. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that. So, to get Macrium to work and put your drive in one chunk without any headache later, take the first two sections. Leave the third section at the very far to your right alone. Um, you don't need it, okay? In fact, if you do try using it, like they show you in the video of their company video on YouTube, 
you're going to only end up with the exact same C drive partition as your original C. So in my case, I had 120 gig SSD. I ended up with 120 gig C drive, and it's like, okay, where's the rest of my space? Oh, unallocated. Okay, let's go through this again and again. I watched the video about a half a dozen times. I tried six ways to Sunday, and I'm like, and they don't show you the end result, by the way, which I found kind of, why not? Um, so I thought, I'm frustrated, and uh, I made a phone call to uh, my son, actually, to see pick his brains and see if he knew anything. Of course, that didn't help. And then I tried running disk management tools uh, to get that C drive section opened up for the unallocated space. And all it did was create another partition of my C drive, my new drive. And I'm like, no, I need this in one chunk because that's where I'm going to put all my programs. I can't put programs on a partition, uh, be, on a departition because they're not going to run. Or if they do run, they won't run very well. It's a crapshoot with a Windows computer. They're not like Macs where we can go 100 levels down on hard drives with software and run it right off that drive. Who cares? It doesn't. But on a PC, it really does care. So you need it in one big chunk. So I thought, all right, let's try something different. Let's take the first section, the second section, and we'll leave that little tiny section alone because no matter which way I tried to customize this area here, even though it said it was using the area when it was done, I still end up with a small drive. And I'm like, no! So I took just the two, left the third one alone, customized this wide open without that third piece. And you can't add the third piece later. I tried that. It says not enough space. So you just leave it alone. And when I was done, I ended up with my entire drive in one chunk the way it's supposed to be. And I've got my full operating system, all my programs, nothing was disturbed, my Windows license went across, everything is A-OK -okay and perfectly cool. So that's how you're going to have to do it with Macrium Reflect in order to get your C drive all in one big chunk. But it works and it's stable and it's fast too. So anyways, I haven't tried Minecraft since I've done my, my drive in here today. So let's fire it up and uh, let's see what we get here. Of course, I want to get offline, so um, let me just do this offline. I don't like playing Minecraft online anyhow. All right, so here we go. Okay, right, play offline. This thing does boot amazingly faster than it did before. Like, even with the SSD, the game is going so much quicker now. It's like, wow, that's just crazy. Like, look at that draw. It's just going nuts. You know, for rendering everything. It's just boom. It's like, wow. Now that's even faster than the stock SSD. That is amazingly good. So that, that works really well. So we're happy with that. So let's check out Far Cry. Now I've played Far Cry a couple of times um, since I put the new drive in today because I had to have a little bit of fun after all since I went through all that terror of doing this. Now the program itself, I would definitely say for a free version program, it is definitely a great program. Definitely recommend it. Sorry, I'm getting in the way. I'm just going to turn the volume down there a little bit. So the bigger loading time is usually when you're going back into something like, in this case, I'm going to the cooler. Um, but I definitely recommend the program. Even if you're going to pay for it, I'd recommend uh, Macrium uh, Reflect 7 because it does actually work really well. It's just that one little hiccup with that third uh, hidden partition that shows up in the program just don't use that far end third partition. Now that is fast booting. You know, that's really good. So I'm really happy with that. So let's go back to, to one from uh, before. So let's go main menu, campaign, load checkpoint. Let's go back to something else. Let's go back to the regulator. This will terminate your current... Yeah, I want to do it. Sure. 
So this, I've already played this level once already. And we're just checking the, the load on it and seeing, oh, no, that's, that's fast. That's pretty quick. It just all of a sudden zipped, you know. And he's wasted. Okay, good. Um, so let's try one more. Um, I, I like the fort. The fort's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. And it's just zipping along. Zip. Boom. Definitely improvements. You know, like... That is cool. Oh yes, this is where I get to blow stuff up. Oh, I didn't go in. Oh, I guess I gotta go kill him. I'm severely impressed with running my programs off of these drives. They're definitely way better than mechanicals. Yeah, yeah, let's go blow stuff up some more, yes. Now let's see how fast the next one loads after this. Now, Far Cry is a fairly large game in size on the hard drive, you know, and there is a lot of stuff for it to load. Now I am running the graphics like full right to the nines on this game. That chopper is going to be coming for me. Oh, I can hear him. Alright, there we go. So, good stuff. Yep, I want to quit. Um, so yeah, definitely, um, as far as the, the program goes, it works well, does its job for the cloning operation, everything's running fast and smooth, so even though I didn't take that little tiny little partition on the third row there, it doesn't affect anything, it's unused empty space anyways, um, so it's like it doesn't matter, but it was the only way to open the drive into one chunk, so hey, so be it, that's the way it goes. Um, so do take a look at Macroom Reflex 7, um, like I said, free for uh, home or commercial use. You do get a certain amount of features for free, and you obviously do not get free support, um, and that's just the way it goes. It's kind of like using AVG, right? Fully functional program, but no support, right? Um, or very little, if, if any. Um, but um, you can see it's definitely a neat little program. Um, it's got all these different areas that you can go through. Uh, for scheduling your backups and all that jazz. Um, cloning is great. It, it actually works well. So for a PC program, um, Macroom Reflect. Um, if you're going to clone on a Mac computer, then I would highly recommend ca uh, Carbon Copy Cloner. It would be nice if they would uh, put Carbon Copy Cloner over to the PC because that program is absolutely perfect on the Mac for just one-to-one, -one, boom, and you get your entire hard drive one chunk. They need that sort of thing in the PC. And I couldn't find any free programs that could do it, and I don't know of any paid versions that do that as well where it's just like zip, zip, go type of thing, right? Um, even um, when it comes to these... Um, uh, wavelength hubs and stuff that do one-to-one -one cloning without the computer involved. Um, I haven't tried it on mine yet, but there was a guy with another wavelength uh, machine, and um, he still had to open up the remainder of his drive later, and it's a real pain in the neck. You shouldn't have to go through that. 
you should be cloning from your small drive to your new big drive and get all that information on the new big drive and have the big drive in one chunk the way it should be you know then if you want to segment it and make smaller pieces then I don't care you know do what you want anyways that's what I got for you so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and the review on Mac and Reflect uh, as far as the star rating goes I'm gonna say that the program deserves a very very solid uh, four and a quarter out of five but still definitely recommend it just be aware of that one step you're gonna have to change and then go and open up that second partition all the way which is actually the remainder of your drive okay and you will get it in one chunk on the C drive when you're done the way it should be without the hassle so anyways thanks again and catch you in the next one see ya